Get out! Hello, tankers and tankettes. Welcome to a mouse game. This is a somewhat special mouse game, as Zircon is also in a mouse. I do believe Fosh has one, but he doesn't really like it that much. It's not his kind of machine, so... It's, uh, yeah, you're not really likely to ever see the three of us in mouses. I don't know. Maybe if we brainwashed him or something. Anyway, this is Fisherman's Bay, and this is a 9.0 replay, so I am fairly confident that no one's going to remember the result from this one. This obviously was from the live stream. So we're actually going to fast forward a bit here, when we get to, uh, just until we get to uh, our initial city positions. This is not a bad map for the mouse. There is artillery, there are a pair of Yagpans at E100s, but it's not terrible. Uh, yes, yes, there's a bit of horseplay going on there. Uh, <laughs> mouse play? I, I don't even know. But um, yeah, there's some good opportunities for side scraping and the like in the city. We know there's going to be some potentially quite tough opposition. There we go, the first couple spotted. Don't know why I'm stopping there, because you can clearly see on the minimap those guys are further back. There's, like, buildings in the way. And the mouse doesn't have a great gun, but it's... Uh, I, I was going to go for... It doesn't have a, a terrible gun, but it can't shoot through buildings, and then it came out as it doesn't have a great gun. Which it doesn't! But anyway, I, I ruined my own funny joke there. Because... Funny joke, yes? Now, there's the Yagpan 3100. And, yeah, that's incredibly unfortunate. Just to lose a thousand health off the bat there. And I wasn't quite sure where I got penned. And you can see there, that's right in the gun mantler. And I was quite confused. Because the gun mantler on this thing is pretty tough. But it turns out, either by luck or by design, he actually hit the one place in the gun mantler that's fairly weak. Because the gun mantler is 240mm thick on a mouse. And for most most of that, you know, you've got overlapping armour, or you've got the gun barrel in the way, or whatever. But that little bit where he hit there, it is just the gun mantle at 240mm thick, which is easy, easily penetrable by the Air Panzer 100 So, yeah, that was rather unlucky for me. Anyway, I'm, doing, I'm getting to do a bit of damage. There's a lot of hours here, there's a lot of theirs here as well, so this is looking a bit pitched at the moment. It could go either way, it just depends on the quality of uh, both teams really. You see Circon's pushing up a bit. Fosh in the 215B is actually playing on the field a bit. He is... I don't know, it's probably the best place for him. I mean the 215B, not great in a city kind of situation, but if you've got a bit of terrain to work with I mean, you really need something to hide your tank behind below, because that does not have great hull armour, it doesn't have great turret armour. You can see there, he's already taken a bit of a battery. I actually, I think he was um, asking for help on two speak at this point, and I was possibly in a position to help. But Sircon actually gets the kill on that guy, so never mind. So he's still alive, but he's taken a bit of a battery, which isn't too great. Just looking for that WZ, but no, he's not there. I'm going to be wary of that Jagdpanzer 3 100, because... I, it may have been very... It, it may just have been luck him getting me in the gun mantle like that. But he clearly knows that he can pen my turret. So you'll see in, in a bit later on that he does actually... Um, there's a moment where I pull out with my turret angled. And he just holds fire. He is, sits there and waits for me to bring my turret round so he can, he can shoot the cheeks. So he's a good enough player that he knows about the turret weak spots on this. You can see there, yeah, he's just sat there waiting for me and I decide, no, I'm not going to play that game. Because that would be another thousand hit points. So still another bit of health off the WZ. I think the Yagpans actually fired there, hoping to catch a bit of my turret. I don't know. But I know as he's fired, I can pull out and have a little look. Sircon and the Conqueror and the T-51, they're dancing around with a bunch of heavy tanks there. They're not really able to just make a push because there's still enemy artillery in the game. And hello, Yag Panzer 100. There's also a Yag Tiger there. Uh, th there's a bunch of stuff that could hurt them. And you would be surprised how quickly the 3,000 hit points of a mouse can evaporate. It is the most of any tank in the game. 
But bear in mind there are at tier 10 a lot of tank destroyers. You know, uh, uh, an FV183. I was struggling to think of the name there. The FV215183. Uh, that could two-shot you potentially in a mouse. There are artilleries that can two-shot you. The Yagpanzer 100 is going to be a three-shot, but still, that's only three shots. So, you have to be careful. You can't be too gung-ho. I think you learn this fairly on as a mouse player. So there's that E5. We've, we've made the breakthrough, we've made the push, we've got this. This was most of our team versus, I think, the bulk of their team. And look at the team list right now, 6-3. We've got this, right? Nine minutes into the battle, uh, not nine minutes into the battle, we're at the nine minute mark, rather. And this is just, we've got this. Now, I don't know where that shell went, I'm going to guess underneath, but I didn't see the whatever. It didn't bounce off him, I didn't see the puff of smoke indicating it hit the ground, so I don't know where that shell went. That Jagdpanzer 100 he's the last guy left alive here. I'm side scraping out, but he's backed way off. He knows he's outnumbered, he knows he's surrounded. The Waffle Panzer IV just plows straight forward, takes a hit from him. And I, I would never do anything so silly, right? Right, he's tracked. I put one in his lower front plate. I'm just going to continue past him so I can get a shot in the side. The Waffle Panzer drives past, and he's still tracked. He's turning, and there's a bunch of tanks here. Nobody's shooting him. So I get hit again. So that was my own fault, really, but I expected with the sheer number of tanks that we had, that we'd take that guy really easily. Instead, we just let him turn and shoot me again. So that was good. So, yeah, that's another 1,200 hit points nearly that I really could have used. So this can be a tricky part. We know there is a bunch of tank destroyers left alive. There's a pair of mediums left alive. We know where the mediums are. We know where the tank destroyers are likely to be. Those guys have basically done nothing for their team up till now because there hasn't been any action nearby them. Only one of them's been spotted and the rest have just been sat there. So this could be tricky because you can see the majority of the guys I'm approaching from this direction because I know there's a bit of cover for, with terrain. There's those rocks in the way. Most of them are just going for the cap across open ground. You can guess what's going to happen next. <laughs> So, yeah, we've lost our arty, which is a bit of a blow, considering they've got camping tank destroyers. But the T-54E1, despite seeing the Waffle Panzer IV uh, be obliterated, is still just going to go sit in the cap. Now he's dead. The M103 is... Yeah, he's not... Pulling back, he's not relocating, he's just going to get shot to pieces. The Conqueror's actually gone to the middle, where Circo and Fosh and the Torti are. So, how this should work in theory is, I use my armour, hope I don't die, hope I spot these guys, and Circo and Fosh, everyone else, whatever, they take the 1-2-3 line. Now, unfortunately, I just got hit. I'm quite lucky to be alive, because that was obviously a low roll from the Waffle. There's the Agpanzer E100. The waffle must be to my left somewhere. So that's going to be interesting. I have basically put myself in a position where I now can't move. And that's a good thing and a bad thing. They're going to be fixated on me. But I don't exactly have much health. One HE shell from the 704 or the Agpanzer E100, or even the waffle, will more than likely kill me because I don't exactly have a lot of hit points left right now. I'm going to slightly spoil the end and say they don't kill me with HE. In fact, they don't kill me at all. That would have been annoying if they had, but it's fortunate for me that they didn't think to do that. So we know where four of the five remaining ones are. The Rhine at all is the only one that isn't spotted. We're now down to 10-10. We had a big advantage, but these guys that up till now, apart from that Leopard PTA, have really done nothing for their team except sit at the back there. The Eggpanzer E100 and the 704 especially. I think the Waffle Panzer IV might have done a bit more. The Leopard PTA we certainly saw moving around. The Rheinmetall is clearly... I, I would say the Rheinmetall is more where the Waffle Panzer IV was last spotted, just at a guess. 
this is tricky because we're all very low health. And we could die very easily trying to assault these guys. Because we, we lost a bunch of health in the city. We lost a bunch of health getting here. And see, there's the waffle. He's moved down. So he, he was actually moving around and doing stuff. It was the tier 9 and the tier 10, the, the 704 and the E100s that were just not really doing anything for their team up until this point in time. So they, they haven't been helping their team to win. They've stopped us from winning, but they haven't been helping their team to win. So there's a 704. I can get my turret round in time. And there we go. That's a total snapshot. I didn't have time to let the reticle settle. I just had to take the shot. Punished him. Hopefully he'll be a bit more shy about popping out. The Akpans at E100 still got some hit points. Unfortunately, we lost the Torty. And the PTA and the Waffle Panzer IV are at large down in F1 and G1. Sircon's trying to help out the Conqueror. I don't know how much health the Conqueror's got, but Sircon's certainly very low health. I've only got the E4 for, uh, to help me, and he's also very low health. That PTA, that's not a welcome uh, development. So there's 704. Can I pull off the same thing again? Yes. That's the Akpanzer E100 as well. The Leopard PTA is being engaged, and he's down. Sircon gets him. That's good. There's the Waffle. Now, if I could get there in time, I might have a shot. But maybe not. No, no, okay, never mind. So it's him, an as yet unspotted Rhyme at all, who's just killed the Conqueror. And the Agpanzer E100. So it's down to me and Sircom. And this 125. I just bounced the Agpanzer again. This turret can be really, really troll if you angle it properly and you don't get unlucky with being penned through the gun mantlet. I think I have never seen that happen before on the mouse and I've never really ha had it happen to me again since and it certainly is a weak spot that I wasn't especially aware of but I guess with the mouse it's just if you're angling that's not really a weak spot especially I think it was just bad luck that the uh, that other Jagdpanzer E100 managed to catch me there because I was turning my turret back as it was happening there we go that's another one in the lower front plate of that guy we're running out of time seriously here but we can't move up. The E5 is at least trying something. I think we were a bit like we thought this would end horribly. And no, I was trying for his axle, but that was again a kind of a rushed shot. The E5 gets into the cap, and I think he's hiding behind a wreck. So he's got some cover. So it's three tank destroyers versus three heavies. Win uh, capping seems like the only chance of winning right now. Sircon puts a good one to that Yakpan 3100. He's really quite far back, but he can't afford to get spotted especially. He doesn't have as good a cover as I do. Mind you, my cover's not that great either. Like I said, one HE shell could have seriously messed up my day. But they just decided not to do that. I've also done over 5,000 damage. You don't get to do lots of damage that often in a mouse. Usually, if you do, it indicates, with the poor, relatively poor DPM that the mouse has, it indicates the rest of your team isn't actually doing that well. That wasn't very well aimed. That was almost certainly his upper front plate, that hit. But he was, his lower front plate was kind of angled downwards relative to me anyway, so that was always going to be... You can see that I didn't really have much of a window to shoot him, so... I don't know, maybe I should have had HE loaded at this point. Probably wouldn't have killed him, but it would have done some damage. And given that there's a rhyme at all on the, the Waffle Panzer 4. Snapshot against that guy. That does actually and probably connect. But unfortunately, the E5 is dead. There's a minute left to go. We can either hand them a win or... Yeah, I don't think any of us wanted to, to be frank. Because, I mean, Sircon's never for um, throwing away a match. Just generally... But it's more the fact that, as I alluded to, these guys didn't help their team to win. They helped their team not lose, but they didn't help their team to win, even at this point when we've got really low health. Do they come and attack us? Do they go for the victory? No, they're just quite content to sit there. The Rhyme at all is trying to get me from a different angle at least. The Jagdpanzer E100 is not a good player. And you can see that I've got the APCR loaded at this point. There's very, very little chance we'll actually get this. The Rhyme at all is, you know, 
maybe might get him, but a couple seconds left. The Waffle's still alive, and that's it. GG. You can see there, Sircon. His Jimmy's were rustled. Now you could say at the end there that we equally wanted it to be a draw, and that's true. We did not want to hand them the win, because those last couple of guys on the enemy team, that was not a victory that they deserved, and we weren't going to just give it to them. They sat there and did nothing for their team until the very end, and even then, they weren't really doing something for their team. They were just making it a waste of everybody's time, to be honest. Because that's a match where, well, really, we won. Except we didn't, because there was just those few people in that awkward place who... I mean, let's look at the scores. Okay, Spartan, uh, I got actually got a, a high caliber. Uh, Steel Wall's not that common, but high caliber and a mouse. I don't have many of those. Nearly 7,000 damage, 3 kills. Sokon did nearly 5,000 damage with 6 kills. Sokon actually had the best score. The enemy Leopard PTA, who was actually driving around doing stuff, had the second best. I had the third best. And then we actually look at the, uh, the, waff the, the people that were. I mean, the 704... 2800, done all at the end there. The Rhyme at all, I suspect a lot of that was done at the end. Five kills. I mean, a lot of that was just the people driving across the field, feeding those guys. That Jagdpanzeri 100 had, what, 2000 damage? And again, that was all at the end. He just did nothing for his team up until that point. So, this was just a really frustrating match. And it does occasionally happen this way, that... Sometimes it's camping tank destroyers, or sometimes it's that one heavy on the enemy team that sat at the back doing nothing until the very end, when there's about three or four of your guys left all on really low health, and suddenly he springs into action. It just sometimes happens this way, and there's not a whole lot you can do about it. I mean, I really don't think myself and Sircon could have done much more there. I think this is probably the most damage I've ever done in a mouse, personally. I've seen one game where somebody did... 10,000 damage in a mouse, and that was pretty exceptional. But that was against a, a whole team of pancakes, basically. Um, what was it? The Valley on uh, Lakeville. It was him, and they just let him, and just let him, and just let him, and it was kind of hilarious. This one, it felt like I had to work for it, and that last kind of 2,000 damage was done at the end there against those tank destroyers. And we did take all of them down but one. So... Yeah, that was a, a perfectly nice match that was really ruined by just a couple of people that decided they didn't want to play, they didn't want to drive around, they just wanted to sit at the back doing nothing. And thus, it was 15 minutes of everybody's life that nobody's going to get back, so GG. So yeah, another mouse game. I know I put up more of these than any other tier 10 heavy, but it's the one I have the most fun playing, and... Uh, I don't know, it's the one I seem to do best in. I don't have many of them, and as Sircon likes his tier 10s, we tend to play those a lot, and I tend to play a majority of those matches in the mouse. So I suspect we'll continue to see more mouse matches than uh, the other tier 10s that I've got, but I'll try and sprinkle a few in other, uh, a few others in as well. So if you enjoyed this match, even though it was 15 minutes of your life that you'll ever get back now either, teehee, you can hit the like button, you can leave a comment below, you can subscribe to my channel, and of course, as always, stay tuned for more.